Hi and welcome to my video on 40 preparation tips for SEA mathematics. This is tip number one. Today's tip will be working with multiple units. Whenever a problem is given with more than one unit of measure, you should always convert to one unit before attacking the problem. After the unit conversion, use one unit. This rule applies to measurement of the same family of units, example mass, length, capacity, etc. Here are some examples. Kilograms must be changed to grams, or grams should be changed to kilograms. Liters must be changed to milliliters, or milliliters to liters. Kilometers must be changed to meter, or meters to kilometer. This is so that you'll be working with one unit. This rule also applies to regular and 24 hour clock. That is to say, if you are given a problem with the 24 hour clock and the normal clock, you should change all the units to the 24 hour clock or you change the 24 hour clock to the regular clock. Here are three worked examples. Take a minute and pause the video to read the problem. Now that you have read the problem, let's solve it. First, let's convert the 3 liters to milliliters. To do this, remember the acronym King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. To convert the 3 liters to milliliters, we place 3 under the units like this and use zeros as place values going towards the unit we require. We require milliliters so we are going to the right. So now we can see that 3 liters is equivalent to 3,000 milliliters. Now we need to find out how many full cups of water is equivalent to 300 milliliters. This will be determined by dividing 3,000 by 125 since one cup is equal to 125 milliliters. This will give me the total amount of cups of water that we can get from the 300 milliliters. This is equal to 24 cups. If, therefore, we have 24 full cups of water and each child got a full cup of water, then we can conclude that 24 children got water. Take a moment to pause the video once again to read through this problem. Now that you have read the problem, let us solve this. We can see the turkey weighing 4.25 kilograms and the sardine weighs 125 grams. Clearly we are using two different units. So to evaluate this problem, we need to convert either the grams to the kilograms or the kilograms to grams. Let us convert the kilograms to grams. Remember the acronym King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Here we are starting with kilograms. So we put the 4 on the key. Remember the 4 is in the 1's position so it goes on the key. Because the 0.25 is less than 1, or a fraction of the kilogram, we are going to put the 2.5 to the right of key. This indicates that 0.25 is less than the whole number 4. So the digit 2 goes under the H and the 5 goes under the D. 
we want it to get to grams grams is under the unit so we place a zero as a placeholder therefore we can conclude that 4.25 kilograms is equivalent to 4,250 grams. Now that we have done the conversion, we can determine how many sardines are needed to balance the scale. Recall that we were given the mass of one sardine is 125 grams. So that 4,250 grams would be equivalent to 4,250 divided by 125 and the answer here is equivalent to the amount of sardines needed to balance the scale. This would give me 34 sardines. We can conclude that 34 sardines will be needed to balance the scale. Take a moment to pause the video once again to read through the problem. Now that we have read through the problem, we recognize that we are dealing with two separate units, kilometers and meters. For practice purpose, let us convert the meters to kilometers. Remember the acronym King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Let us represent the 3.5 meters. The 3 is the whole number. So the 3 goes under U. Remember 0.5 is part of a whole. So the digit 5 goes under the small d. We want to get to kilometers. So we need to put placeholders under all the units going to the left of the 3. So that we will get to the kilometer. Now we can conclude that 3.5 meters is equivalent to 0.0035 kilometers. Now that we have done the conversion, we can find the area of the strip of road. Area of a rectangle is length times breadth. And so therefore, the length, which is 12 kilometers, and the breadth, which is equivalent to 0.0035 kilometers would be substituted with L and B respectively so that the area is equal to 12 times 0.0035 which is equivalent to 0.042 square kilometers. Therefore, the surface area of the road is 0.042 042 square kilometer. Keep in mind that area is always given in square units. This is the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and smash that notification bell so that you can see the next tip for SEA. Please leave a comment if necessary.